ocean trapped in the rock and our biosignature is somewhere in here. We have to get it out. In the lab, Blake and her team dissolve these rocks and extract molecules that are the chemical signature left behind by ancient microbes. All life, like these microbes, consumes nutrients to produce energy. The leftovers carry the chemical footprint of life. Even today, we humans leave behind chemical footprints. When we breathe, for example, we're taking in oxygen and we're exhaling CO2 and water vapor. That water vapor interacts with your environment. Amazingly, rocks from 3.5 billion years ago, at the time of the stromatolites in Australia, also carry a strong chemical footprint of life. But when Blake analyzes the Greenland rocks from 300 million years earlier, she makes a tantalizing discovery. As far back as 3.5 million years, we see a strong biological signature, and the older rocks are approaching that, but not quite there. But we do believe that we see something there. Blake believes she has detected the faint signal of life at 3.8 billion years ago, only 700 oh million God. years after Earth was created, early in the blue phase. There is still much that we don't know about our early planet, but some things are becoming clearer. If you could transport yourself back in time, about four billion years, 